everyone, welcome back to the Scottish Cowboys Darts channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a Harrow's product and this is from the Anniversary Edition and this is the Boxer 90% Tungsten. Now I'm going to be reviewing the Bomber style uh, shape, they come in two different shapes. The reason I'm reviewing the Boxer Bomber Edition is I actually had these back in the day. And this is going to bring back some really good memories of me playing darts when I lived with my parents and the house. So let's get them over the table, get a close look at them, get them on the board and come back here and do a recap on the reins. First look at the box for the anniversary edition Harrow's Dart. Now, as you can see, it tells you this is a boxer 90%, so it's 90% tungsten. You've got the anniversary edition steel tip, the Harrow's logo, a lovely picture of the barrel with a gold inlay for the anniversary, gold point, super grip carbon stem, telling you it's 24 grams, and it's English precision English darts. On the side of the box, you've got all the details again, 90% tungsten, 50 year anniversary edition, steel tip, same on both sides, you look at the back of the dart, the dart you've got anniversary edition, box of 90%, original specification, you've got a little bit of information, a precise, a precise groove and narrow configuration combine optimum grip with ease of release, premium 90% tungsten gives a competitive advantage to players who are serious about winning, bomb profile, Titanium nitride coated super grip carbon shafts and 100 micron flights. Telling you it's matched to 0 0.05 of a gram. Made in England. Again, got Harrow's logo and you've got the little icons for all the social media. So let's get them out and have a little look. So as you can see, they come in this very nice sleeve. Take your sleeve off. For people who want to collect the darts, it's really nice. Put it over to the side. And then you've got inner box, you've got a lovely clear window showing a bit of the gold bar, the gold points, the barrel, the stem and the flights and the two other stems, the barrel. You've got some more information on the back which is just telling you that out of warning, important, Harrow's take seriously the intellectual property rights in its products and packaging. You can read all that yourself, just pause the video, have a little read. But the packaging is first class, really, really nice. So let's get them out and have a look. So we take them out of the box and they come in a little plastic insert. Just keeping costs down, obviously, but it's maybe because it's anniversary edition, don't know, but just a plastic insert keeps the darts nice and secure. They're not they're not falling out, not going anywhere. So let's take one out and have a little close look. So they come in a little smoked point protector. Take them out. We'll keep the two in there, keep them to the side, don't need them now. I'll take the flights out and let you have a little look at them. But I'm going to tell you right now, when we go to the throwing section, I won't be using the supplied stems or the supplied flights. And I'll tell you why. These are going to be prizes in my Christmas raffle, so I don't want to damage them if they're going to be a prize. But look at that. That takes me right back. So let's get some information about the history behind this dart. So, these were originally released in 1994. The Boxer 90% darts are one of the most iconic tungstens ever released by Harrow's. In the Harrow's range for nearly two decades, these darts were established as a firm favourite amongst darts lovers. Available in both parallel and bomb profiles, the boxer darts combine precision knurling with clean cut rings to give the player a uniquely consistent grip. These darts are fitted with MIDI super grip carbon shafts and new Harrow's Anniversary 100 micron flights. The steel tip bomb comes in 22, 24 and 26 grams. Now, the parallel is also available and they come in 21, 23 and 25 grams. But we're going to concentrate on the bomb. 
The 22 grams is 7.5 diameter by 43 long. The 24 is 7.9 diameter by 43 long. And the 26 gram is 8.2 by 43 long. Now we're doing the 24, so we're right in the middle. But before we do that, I'm going to have a really nice look at these flights. Look how nice they are. They are really, really nice. So as I said, I'm not going to use them, but I'm going to measure them to see if they're number sixes or number fours. Eh, number twos. And they are number six. So it's number six flights that come supplied with them. If you want to change to number six, I don't know if you can buy number sixes, but that's what comes with the dart. So let's have a look at the actual dart. So standing at the front, you've got the really nice gold point. You've got a very big tapered, it's it's more like ball nose and taper put in together, leading up to their initial ring grooves. Now, the first three sections of the ring grooves are the knurled section, and they are definitely knurled. What a good grip. Then you've got a tapering towards the back, where you've got another set of ring cuts, just straight cut grooves, leading up to a parallel section at the back of the barrel, the dart with the Harrow's logo, and then you've got that really nice super grip carbon stem. Now that's a midi, so it's an intermediate type. I'll measure that for the length, for people who want to know the length of their dart when they get it supplied. And the length of that is 40.6 millimetres. So that's the stem length, 40.6 millimetres. So we'll now check the length of the barrel against what the supply st supplier states. Now that is measuring at 43.27. So it's there's not much in it, is there? 43.3, 43.27. Diameter 7.93. And what does it say it's meant to be? It's meant to be 7.9, so that's practically bang on. The length of the point, and I do like a gold point. Length of the point is 25.36, so that's a 26mm point. So just looking at this dart, it just takes me right down memory lane because I used to use these. I loved them. So I'm really looking forward to having a throw with them. And as I said, I'll be putting different stems and flights on them because I don't want to damage the flights and the stems. Nice look inside the barrel. So let's get these onto the scales then get a close-up before we do the throne. So that's us got the scales over. Got the other two darts in my hand, but they're in the point protector. We'll take them out. So, first barrel. 24.08. Second barrel. 24.09 and the third barrel 24.11 so they are within 0 0.03 so they're doing really good now with the full supplied setup you've got your stem and your flight you're looking at 25.93 So as you can see, firstly we've got that really nice gold point coming across to the knurled effect on the barrel. Then you've got those radial grooves, really nice sharp cuts to them, coming up to the little Harrow's logo. Then you've got the stem, as you can see, I've kept the flight off because I'm going to keep them good. For the giveaway. Well, let's just have one little look, closer look at the front of that knurled effect. It's really nice. So I've got the tarts built up. I put a set of carbon 360 spin stems on them. 
I set a number two flights and we'll have a go and see how they go. Mm. Well, they're going okay. That's all I'm going to say. Well, first impressions in the hand come out so easily. You've got that big bulbous front end on it that gives you good grip with the knurl. I think I'm going to like these. I think they're taking me back to younger days, which I'm going to enjoy. So I'll crack on with this throwing. I'll stick some music on, do the score of the challenge. Then we'll do the recap.
recap on the Harrow's Boxer 90% Bomber style darts. I really liked these darts. They just took me back. Back to when I was younger, playing in my house with my parents. Just, I had a dartboard in my house for a very young age. My mum and dad didn't play darts. It was just me. I had some of my mates over. Sometimes my dad would come up and get a throw. When they were having parties, the other adults would come up and have a game of darts with me. And it used to be a good laugh. And these were the darts that I had back in the day and I loved them. I absolutely loved them. So it was good to get another shot at them because I don't have a foggiest where they darts went to. They're probably mum chucked in the, bin, in the bin. Anyway, grip rating for these darts. Front is a three. It's a nice three. The nice narrow grip. Middle grippers. You're getting a two because you're getting the grooves. You're getting the radial cut grooves and nice straight cut grooves. But rear grippers. Rear grippers, in my opinion, are not going to buy these darts because they're short, they're really short. And when you grip the very back of these darts, there's no grip on it whatsoever, it's just it's a zero. Now, value for money. These retail at £45.95, so say £46. 10 out of 10. Cracking dart for £46. Darts under £50 are few and far between nowadays. Cracking box, cracking presentation. Really liked them, 10 out of 10. Overall, based on my RVBs, now my RVBs are a far better dart. They're just, these are not a new dart. They're just reimagined. We bit of gold in them, nice. So these are a seven out of 10 overall. No value, value for money, 10 out of 10, but overall, as in competing against the, your, your RVB Echoes, they're, they're, no, they're not even close, they're a seven out of 10, but they're still a really good dart. And I'm glad I bought them. I'm, I'm over the moon with trying them and having a throw with them. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the video. Please hit that subscribe button. The more subscribers, the more content, the better quality. The usual. Hit a little bell. That tells you when the next one is. I've just finished a giveaway. There'll be another giveaway when I get to it. I'm going to be set a giveaway for 750 subscribers. Just past the 500. So, more people subscribe, quicker we get another giveaway. But well, before we go, you know what's coming. Keep enjoying your darts and I'll catch you on the next review.